When the narcissist is not with you, they do this behind your back. The narcissist's thinking is limited to three things, what they want, how they are going to get it, and from whom they are going to get it. Plotting, strategizing, and manipulating are all required for them to achieve their goals. What this all boils down to is this, even though it may appear that they are in deep thoughts somewhere else, like what you're rambling on about in front of them, and they appear to be thoughtfully attentive and listening as you stare at them, and they notice this and say, what? They're not listening at all. They aren't paying attention unless you say anything that triggers their brain to jump in and cut you off mid-sentence. However, it'll be an opportunity for them to abuse and torture you about something that isn't even a problem. Before moving further, I'd want to extend a sincere welcome to everyone who has visited this channel. If it weren't for you, my channel would be nothing. Thank you so much for your attention. And if this is your first visit here, please subscribe to this channel and set your notification bell so that you don't miss any of the new videos that are released here. Let's begin. Why do narcissists scam and deceive others? They love to keep secrets because it gives them power and control over their environment. The one secret that stands out since it affects all parties directly, however, is a topic of conversation today. For them, narcissistic supplies are an absolute necessity, and this is the only explanation given. Because of this, they are even more excited to attempt at least once, twice, or only God knows how many times. This makes them even more enthusiastic. What the heck is that? It's possible that you're correct. In the dating world, narcissists have some of the best kept secrets thanks to their dishonesty or adultery. A false sense of power, especially if they aren't detected, is what provides them. The following are a few reasons why narcissists cheat on their partners, even if they have everything they could possibly want. They get bored when they have nothing to do, no matter how beautiful the rest of the situation is. Ultimately, there is no fuel for the fire if there isn't any dispute. For this reason, it's critical to observe their behavior when they're unfaithful, as well as their reaction if discovered. Keep in mind that having sex outside of a committed relationship is not all there is to it about adultery, but it also entails emotionally violating a spouse or a partner. And I believe that all narcissists, at some point, have been emotionally or physically disloyal to their lovers. What follows is an examination of the situation in more detail. They cheat because they have little regard for the feelings of others around them. As soon as you depart from their company, they will cease to acknowledge your existence. Narcissists are adept at ignoring you, taking advantage of you, and then discarding you when you no longer bring value. Scamming you like they were never in your vicinity will be easy for them. Narcissists tend to be untrustworthy by nature, and this isn't a surprise at all. The covetousness of narcissists has a significant influence on adultery. They'll still look for ways to obtain something extra from others if things between you and them seem to be going well. It doesn't matter how much money you already have, they think they're entitled to anything you can get your hands on. Another possible reason is that they've had enough of a nice relationship with you and want to move on. They have a hard time focusing on calm water and they have a hard time staying in one emotional state for too long. They're essentially conflicted on the inside. They quickly become bored with you because there are no longer any challenges to conquer in your relationship with them. They become tired of seeing the same individual over and over again. Narcissists should hunt for and obtain new sources of supply in order to keep themselves busy while also boosting their supply bank. In this sense, the narcissist may surprise you with their supply choice. At any given time, the narcissist may have their sights set on someone who's no better than you. When it comes to traits, outlooks, and even attitudes, you may find that their relationship is no better than yours. You might wonder why they go out of their way to cheat on you with someone like this when they already have a good relationship with you. For what reason do they feel the need to compromise on their standards? But it's not about you or your current relationship. It's about the narcissist, not either of you. When it comes to the situation at hand, it doesn't really matter what you think. Second, narcissists have an insatiable desire for what they lack. Envious, 
they can't get enough of anything they can get their hands on. Ex-partners will be regarded the same as anything else they once owned. Narcissists typically engage in extramarital affairs with people whom they were previously married to. To get back together with an ex, narcissists will betray their current partners as well as desert them. Narcissists will go to great lengths to get their hands on what they believe is rightly theirs, even if the other person is already married or in a committed relationship. Assuming that they are just hanging out with the boys or girls is not an indication that they're not looking for attention from the opposite sex. You shouldn't believe them. A narcissist's motivations are never clear. In the event of adultery, narcissist personalities change radically. As a result, you'll notice that they put more care into their appearance than they normally would. A regular occurrence is for them to break up with you so that they can have sex with someone else. When you trust them again, they'll tell you that they're sorry for what happened and that they'll never hurt you again. The reason they do this is to ensure that if they're ever caught, they'll have a strong justification. This was a common occurrence in reality. This allowed them to capitalize on the circumstance, knowing they could justify their acts since they were confident in their abilities. Being manipulative in the face of adversity was their goal. My third argument is that narcissists will try to justify their actions when confronted, which takes me to my final point. They are not narcissists, and what they've done isn't horrible. They care a lot about you, but we all know they are completely different from what they say. To justify their actions, narcissists often seek to twist or omit a portion of the facts. For them, infidelity would be referred as an encumbrance or something that only happened because you were making their lives tough, in order to avoid revealing that they had cheated or had sex with someone else. They made this choice. They become enraged when you call them out on their lies and deceptions because they don't want to be stigmatized. We are tricked into accepting or tolerating them instead of facing us with the repercussions of their wrong decisions. Blaming us is a normal strategy for them. Your self-esteem is being shattered since they not only cheat, but also blame it on you. If you don't show enough care or concern, they'll accuse you of not being interested enough. To avoid being taken for granted, keep in mind that narcissism isn't always a factor in an individual's decision to cheat on their partner. The persistent search for new sources of supply goes hand in hand with these people's greed and dislike of boredom. So, it's never your fault or insufficiency to put up with this in the relationship. So, what are your thoughts on all of this? Comment below and tell us what you think. I hope this information was helpful to you. Anyway, subscribing to this channel and activating the bell icon is a great way to make sure you don't miss any new videos. I appreciate you taking the time to watch this. Thanks.